Welcome back. You're listening to Tuttle Talk here on 660 AM, The Answer. Remember, you can reach out to me, Andy Tuttle. Thank you so much for joining me at 469-319-0660, 469-319-0660. If you don't want to talk right away, you can always just text the word TALK to that same number, 469-319-0660, and we'll give you all the resources uh, from today's show. All right, I've been teasing it. Here it is. Got with me right here in studio, John Butcher, the Butcher Group over at Caldwell Banker. He has been in the real estate game since 98, and more importantly, he's heavily involved with uh, basically meaningless letters to you, CCAR, Metrotex, Tree Pack, TRLP, all these things that mean nothing to you, but do so much for you in the community and for your property rights, and they're fighting for these every day. So, John, welcome to the show. Thank you, Andy. Good to be here. Good. So glad to have you, man. I really am. So I, I get to talk with a lot of agents, as you know, and I interview a ton of them, but not everybody is so heavily involved with what goes on behind the scenes. And what's critical about that, I think, is one of the, uh, maybe you can call it an epidemic that we're having right now in this economy, is that we know there's a glut of information, right? So much so that Bing's deal is they can help you get through that clutter, right? That's their marketing campaign. And we have things like WebMD, which I was talking about earlier, where people can go and you can check out all your symptoms, right? And basically think you're your own doctor. Correct. But then that doesn't always work out. You end up having to go to a doctor. You screw yourself up worse or just get live in fear. Well, you better go to a doctor. <laughs> you better go to a doctor, a real one. Well, the same thing's happening in real estate, right? Because with the onset of Realtor.com, Trulia, Zillow, and all of these sites that you put information at your fingertips, people feel, and you tell me if, I'm, if, if this is true in your market, that more, more now than ever, uh, homeowners feel that maybe they don't need the realtor as much, that they can do it on their own, Right. Some do, yes. Yes. And they get more information. You probably have most of the people you talk to, most of the realtors I talk to say many of their clients, if not most, have done some research and statistics show, I think it's 67% are doing internet shopping before they talk to a realtor. Absolutely. Yeah, and so a lot of that's like they feel the, the sentiment I get every day and that I fight back is that people go, well, less and less, why do we need a realtor? Well, um, it's very simple. <laughs> One, you can't get into any of the houses without a realtor, uh, any of the existing houses. Um, as far as selling your house, it's, um, again, fairly simple. Um, you make more money, you sell your house for more money with a realtor than you do without a realtor. Now, see, that's where you'll need some stats, and I know you've got them there, because people, I think, say that's why they, the exact reason they say, no, I'll do it on my own, because I don't need to pay that 6%. That's what they say. That's right. And they think that's short-sighted thinking. Hey, I'm going to save that 6%. I'm not going to pay that. Well, several factors there. Average sales price of a FISBO for sale by owner is uh, $174,900, and that's the average sales price for that. The average sales price for someone using a realtor is $215,000. That's 19% difference. Now, that being said, there's probably quite a few people out there at $150,000 range selling their house or trying to sell their house for sale by owner. It goes back to that there's a lot of people out there in different price points that are trying to get to a place where they can save money. And I understand that in this economy. And so we see that sellers are trying to do that. But one of the things that I find in, the, in, the, in what you're talking about there is the stats are typically that it takes about four months longer, four to six months longer to sell your home if you're doing it on your own than when you're doing it with a realtor. And not not only that 19% delta, but I, the average sales price is, and I have to, I'll go have to back to look this up and I'll put it on the site for you, the fan page, but is uh, it's six to 8% higher. So basically it's a wash, plus you don't have the extra cost to carry. And I'll tell you what, because I work with for sale by owners all the time, when you are especially trying to downsize your home and you have a $300,000 home or $215,000 or $174,000 home, whatever that is, and you're trying to sell that to get into a, a, a smaller home especially, and you're paying that extra interest for four to six to eight months, that's an extra eight, ten, twelve thousand dollars that you don't have to pay if you sell. Plus, you're getting the higher price point. And if I'm correct on this too, John, you know, you think you're gonna get away with six percent, but you're still gonna have to sell it to a buyer. And you're not exposing yourself to any of the buyers because you're not because you're not because the realtors aren't gonna show your house if they don't think they're gonna get paid. Correct. There's twenty three thousand four hundred realtors in Netris. They will have zero exposure to your house. So if they have a buyer, they're not going to buy your house. So you're automatically eliminating that pool of buyer potential. You're cl cutting out 80% of your market, of your buyers. That is correct. And so that's why it costs you so much more to sell on your own. 
And it takes longer, yes. And it takes longer. So that's the FISBO. So let's address the people that are maybe, and then I want to get into the uh, looking at what you do really on the back end, not even for the seller to buyer, like woof, the fighting for the property right stuff, because I get excited about that. But what about a buyer? I mean, it's legitimate. Hey, look, man, I feel like I don't have to pay as much. I'm doing the research. What do I really need a realtor for? Because they feel like they're just you're just handcuffing them by saying, well, you can't get into the house. Well, that's like handcuffing me. It's like, well, then you just need to change that. Right. Well, 90% of buyers find their house online when they use a realtor. 45% of people who are selling a FISBO do it off the sign. So how, many, how much easier is it to be online in, in, your, in your home, in your office, searching homes and finding that? And try to have to drive around all these neighborhoods and spend the extra time the exposure there. exposure alone is so worth it. And plus, when it comes to the contract, you're not protected. Not protected at all. There's a lot more lawsuit liability on your end when you're doing it on your own. And I tell you, exactly, and that's the biggest thing, guys, because here's the deal. Um, and I had this happen, uh, John, with a, a good agent that we both know and respect. The, uh, this happened recently. A, a seller, and actually you and I talked about this. You were the one that, you, this is you. So you were telling me, like, you asked me about an insurance company. So like sometimes, guys, this happens, right? And this is not going to happen if you're buying it for sale by owner and you don't have realtor representation. That a uh, seller's disclosure is supposed to, everything that's wrong with the house Correct. It's supposed to be on that disclosure, right? Right. But we both know that maybe they just forget to put certain things on there, right? It is very possible, yes. Now, you can go and get an inspection and do this stuff on your own, but you're not going to know the questions to ask necessarily to uncover some of the challenges. But a professional, John, will do something else through an insurance company if you're suspicious of something, right? Correct. If there's something that shows that, hey, maybe there, there was a different damage or they're covering something up. Um, you're suspicious. We can, <laughs> correct, you're suspicious. We can ask um, our local insurance guy or girl um, for a clue report, okay? And that helps. Um, it's a ba- basically a database for them to show, hey, what claims have been made on that property over the last few it's years. It's kind of like the Carfax for the house. It is a Carfax for the house. So that way, you can show me the Carfax. Show me the clue report you so go. you can see it. So if ever you're suspicious, you can do that. And that's a big thing, guys. And that's what a realtor can help you do that you can't do on your own. So let's switch gears here on Tuttle Talk here. I'm talking with John Butcher, the Butcher Group, over at Caldwell uh, Banker. And he's also very heavily involved in TRLP, which is a Texas Realtor Leadership Program, which I'm a part of. He's also a part of CCR. It's a Collin County Association of Realtors. And a big thing that he was the chair of last year was just TREPAC, the Texas Real Estate Political Action Committee. Now, that's where I want to focus. What is the Political Action Committee, and what does it do for homeowners in Texas? It protects your private property rights. That's the number one goal. Um, there's a TAR helps lead the TREPAC, Texas Real Estate Political Action Committee, and it's a group of um, pooled money, in essence, that watches over every single bill in legislation. Um and reads every word of every bill that's submitted to protect your private property rights, to protect taxation on selling your house, to protect everything to do with your private property. So give me some examples of that. Do we have any, because I I need help get clarification on, because I know when there were some specific years where some big things were done. I know in 2001, for instance, that they cut out the 8% sales tax, right? Um, in 2001, they did kill a bill that was proposed that had 8% sales tax on the sale of your house. Hello. You think 6%, they just saved you a ton of money. 8% sales tax, 8000 bucks for every $100,000. Well, buddy, if you weren't underwater, you sure were after you got to pay that. Absolutely. And in 1995, we talked about the seller's disclosure already. That wouldn't even be possible without the Realtors Political Action Committee. That was introduced in 1995. And selling on your own... You may not know to fill one out. You may not know when to ask for, ask, ask for one. Um, it can be a nightmare. So just the ability to you to be able to do this on your own and to be able to be have any kind of protection done by realtors fighting for you, they are required. We've got the biggest pack in the nation is in Collin County, actually. They have 61% um, um, basically... Uh, participation. That is correct. So that means that everyone is giving money to these political action committees to fight for you, not only on the state and local level as far as getting rid of taxes, but also on the federal level to help you maintain property rights, to keep taxes as low as they can be. They're higher in the state of Texas, but that's because we don't have a state tax. And also uh, to fight for you and the home ownership happening in America and in Texas specifically. So when you don't think you need a realtor, guys, i got to tell you, you do need realtors. They're fighting for you, and you don't even know it. And it's so critical that we uh, respect them and appreciate the good ones. Now, look, it's 80-20 in most businesses. It's no different in real estate. 
just like every business, there are 20% of the people that are doing it right, and to, and the 80% may give it a bad name. So your part-time Aunt Martha that sold a home 10 years ago, she's not the person I'm talking about you should use. I don't think you should use Aunt Martha. You should use a guy like John Butcher, who's heavily involved in giving of his time to give back to you so you can own a home and own it correctly and have the rights that you have so you don't have to worry about uh, something going wrong when you get in there. They protect you every day. That's why they're worth the money. John, thank you for standing up for homeowners, including me. I'm a homeowner too, man. So I appreciate that and what you stand for and what you're fighting for. Uh, keep that going. If you want to get in touch with John, find out more information about this. Or, you, hey, look, you need to buy or sell a home and just want to get kind of an idea of where you're at on that. You want to call us or text us at 469-319-0660, 469-319-0660. And we'll get you hooked up with a John. John, thanks so much for being on the show. Thanks for having me. You are a rock star, sir. (laughs) Uh, Thank you very much. All right. Coming up, we have got, I told you about this. It's a teaser for success month, guys. This is a big deal. Jack Long, CEO of Cookies by Design. They're not just a delicious cookie that looks fantastic. Best gift you can give, especially like when you give your wife a cool gift. You know, like uh, send it to the office, get you out of the doghouse. Can't just send roses every time, guys. That's not the only reason you send these. But these guys are staying on top of the game, staying with the market trends, and actually helping pioneer a a new way with some of the issues that we're having with the gluten intolerance and everything. Well, they've got a uh, they've got a delicious cookie that uh, maybe you can enjoy without the stomach pains. So hear all about that next.